Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 14 of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, I'm going to show you how to edit your music. We're going to take a look at a session with some guitar, uh, some vocals and some percussion, and you'll find out how to correct performance mistakes, fix timing issues, and get your music ready for mixing. So here we are in the session in the project window. As you can see, we've got six tracks of audio. We've got some drums, then the kick separately, some vo vocals, uh, some the rhythm parts, and a couple of guitars separated. It's a song of mine from a while ago. Just want to use it to demonstrate uh, a couple of things. So I'm going to be fixing a timing mistake from some poor performance on the drums. Uh, going to be fixing a recording error where the recording has cut out. Um, missing off a little piece of the, the guitar. And I'll also show you a structural change where we're gonna be removing the bridge altogether. So I just wanted to highlight some typical kind of changes you might wanna make uh, for if you're doing editing, whether that's editing for somebody else, um, or if you've recorded a piece of music yourself and you need to make some tweaks after the fact. Audacity does have one or two limitations when it comes to editing music that the premium DAWs don't have. Um, but there are workarounds and if you're familiar with Audacity and you just using it for a couple of quick edits, there are things that can be done. So first let's take a look at this performance mistake in the kick. I'm just going to zoom in on the edit toolbar here, um, or you can hold control or command and scroll with your mouse wheel to zoom in. Then we're going to drag that track to make it a little bit bigger and find this performance mistake. There it is there, did you hear that? Kind of a weird, d d d it's not right, not, not how the drums are meant to be played. So if we just solo that in so you can hear it better. This is what it's supposed to sound like. And this is what we've got. So if we zoom in a little bit more, hold control, scroll the mouse wheel, you can see that this, you can see that this one needs to be moved back slightly in time. So we've got the kick soloed so we can hear it better. We don't want any of the other tracks to be affected by this because it's only the kick that's out of time. So we're gonna wanna make so you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got sync lock turned off. Now by default it's off, but in the previous video for podcast editing, uh, we were using sync lock. So just go to uh, so just go to tracks and then you've got sync lock tracks on or off. If it's on, you'll see these these clocks here. Uh, and there'll be a tick if it, we're going to turn it off for now. So we're only affecting this audio. This is quite a straightforward edit with these eighth notes. So it shouldn't give us too much trouble, but a couple of things to look out for. So first we're going to highlight, highlight the kick, just that one that needs moving. So you want to just shift it back basically. Now one pitfall you might come across uh, when, when editing in Audacity is that the cut, copy, paste works slightly differently. Um, from in other programs. So if you cut now, you can see it's shifted everything back. So basically everything after this is now going to be out of time. So we don't want to do that. Just going to do Control Z to undo. We want to do a split cut. Now to do this, you can either go to Edit, um, Remove Special, and then Split Cut, or as it says, Control Alt and X, or Command Alt and X. So if we try that now, it's just going to take it out. Uh, completely without moving any of the audio. Now there are two ways of pasting it in the right place. The issue is that there is no split paste. So if you just do a normal paste, which is your only option really, it's going to shift everything along. So in order for it to not affect the rest of the audio, you would have to replace. Because if you highlight a piece of audio as you're pasting, it replaces it. See, it's barely moved it at all. Um, but it's moved it slightly because the, the piece of audio we're pasting is smaller than the piece that we're replacing. So if we come back to the beginning here and highlight that kick, we're going to take a look exactly how long that piece of audio is. So as, as you can see at the bottom there, you've got the start and end time of the selection. Um, or you can go to length of selection. So if we highlight that kick, it's uh, 0.165 milliseconds. So now if we go split cut, which is the control alt and x shortcut, zoom out a little bit, find where we're supposed to be placing this in the middle there, and it was 165 
milliseconds. So we highlight that amount of audio and then do the paste. As you can see, it's pulled back that a tiny little bit. So it's not the most accurate, but if you listen now, it's in time. A better way of doing this would be to just move it. So if we select it all again, do our split cut, control or X, and then just paste it straight back in where it was. It hasn't affected the, the rest of the audio at all and it's split this, it's now a separate piece of audio. So if we use, if we go into our tools toolbar, don't want the selection tool now, we want the time shift tool, which lets you move around, uh, move around audio. So what that's gonna do is let us move around this, this uh, kick manually, but it's got nowhere to go because that's, that's in the way. So let's just delete a little bit of that. It will, it will snap in there. We can do a split delete so it doesn't shift the audio, um, which again is control and alt, but it's K for delete. Or again, you can go into the edit, edit menu and go to split delete. And then we got a little bit of space. Let's get that time shift tool again to move this in the right place. Let's have a listen now. We go over a little bit more. Okay, the timing's fine, doesn't have to be absolutely flawless because we want, to, we want it to sound like a human's playing. But obviously there's a little break there, there's a, there's a kind of clicky noise where it's joined up. So we want to get rid of that. Now for this break here, I'm going to fade out the end of that so we don't get that sudden uh, kind of jolt that's causing that, that clicking noise. So if we highlight the end, then you go to Effect, Fade Out, and it's going to fade that out which sounds smoother, I haven't finished yet though. Um, another way you can do it is by going to the envelope tool, clicking where you want the fade out to start. Oh, let's bring that to the top and then clicking where you want it to end. And then you can drag that down for a nice smooth fade out. Then we're gonna to need to do a little fade in on this note as well. I'm gonna use the effect, uh, effect fade in. Now let's have a listen with the rest of the audio in, because we've got that little gap there, but hopefully uh, it's not quite as audible with the rest of the music in. So the timing works much better. Uh, you can still hear a little bit of that, little bit of the break there. Now another solution, which might have been a little bit smoother, is to just copy a whole chunk that's been repeated, which I'm gonna show you how to do on the guitar. So let's go over to the guitar now. and we've got this break here. You'll hear it as I play. It just kind of stops. So for example, if you had a, an error with recording or um, the musician just sort of hit a bum note or something like that, you might get a, and get a result, something like that. So what we're gonna do here is just find a piece of guitar that's basically playing the exact same thing and copy and paste it over and try and get that sounding nice and smooth. So first I'm gonna find a copy of that chord. It's just before the chord sequence changes. So I'm gonna go and find one of those. Let's get those two chords there. Just bring that out, bring that out a bit, zoom in. Have a listen to that part. Okay, and how long is that? It's two and three thousandths of a second in, in length. We don't have to worry too much about that. It's basically two seconds. Now let's find our missing piece of guitar. If you hold shift and scroll, it's gonna scroll in that direction. So here, this is where we wanna be replacing. Gonna select a couple of seconds of that and then go for a paste. Now let's have a listen. So it's nice and in time, it's replaced the, the missing note. You might hear a couple of little clicks where the, where the audio has been pasted in, pasted in at the beginning and the end. There's not a huge amount you can do with this in Audacity. Um, I think they're quiet enough that you won't be able to hear it in the song. There is a 
crossfade option, which I'll show you, which blends two clips together. But the problem is with Audacity, it does shift the audio. So depending on what the situation is, it might be helpful to you, it might not be. But regardless, you'll find it in effect and crossfade clips. And then it's smoothed it out, but obviously it's changed the timing slightly. But if we do listen with, with the rest of the music in, You can't even notice it anyway. So for simple fixes like that, Audacity can do the job. And then the final edit I wanna show you is a structural change across the whole song. I'm gonna be removing the bridge from the song. So I found the bridge here and I just wanna put a label on it just so I know what I'm looking at because it's a bit hard to make edits when it's all just uh, it's audio waves. So if you go into the edit menu and go onto labels and then add label at selection, I'm adding it right there at the beginning of the bridge. Then I can write bridge. And then if I find the end of the bridge, then we can add another label there. So edit labels, add label, you can press control B or command B on a Mac. Then we can write chorus. So this is the section that we want to delete basically. Now, as we're gonna be affecting all of the tracks, we're gonna to go to tracks, and then sync lock. I we'll want to turn that on this time and you'll see all of these tracks now have the clock there, meaning that whatever you do to one track, it's going to affect the others. So still on the selection tool there, let's grab from the beginning and go over to the end. And this time we don't need the split delete because we're actually removing it and, and shifting the chorus back. We're just going to hit delete or Control or Command K, and then it's gone. Let's have a listen. So obviously there's a little bit of tweaking that needs to be done. For example, we've got a tiny bit of vocals there. So if we turn off Sync Lock, we can grab that little bit of vocal where I've sort of taken a breath or started a little bit early. And you can do a split delete. Uh, or you could do replace with silence instead, which is command or control L. And there we go, that bit's gone. I'm gonna try a crossfade here as well. So let's get sync lock back on. And it's just in that section there where we've made the cut. So effect, crossfade clips. Again, it's changed the timing slightly, but we're gonna listen back and see how it sounds. That is smoother. It's such a small little timing change that it hasn't affected it. Um, and there we go. That's a pretty simple thing to do in Audacity, just uh, shifting the structure of a song a little bit. If, if needs be after the fact. There are plenty of other things you might need to edit in your music. Um, this just shows you basically the tools that you'll need, um, especially the split cut, the split delete, and the, 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 the time shift tool and the selection tool uh, that you'll need to, to make any, any basic edits. Now that you've got your audio edited, next comes the mixing stage. In parts 15 and 16 of this course, you're gonna find out how to get your music sounding uh, the best it can be using panning, using level balancing, using effects and more. So hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon so you know when that video is released. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below what music are you working on? It'd be great to hear some of your work. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 15.